Hi out there in YouTube land. Uh, this is Maria, aka Handsome Girl ninety seven. Um, today I'm gonna review a new tool I bought at Michaels. Um, yesterday I bought it yesterday, um, and this thing is seriously saving my life on the daily now. Like it is my new crack, so you should buy one of these. Um, this is what it is. It's called the Crocodile. Um, I know that's really lame, but it whatever it works really good um it's called the crocodile i'm not kidding i did not make that up um but what it is is it is a, a hole punch and an eyelid setter so if you're making a bjd corset shoes uh maybe like a, a shorts to like lace up pants to lace up anything uh like that um it is worth your money um, this thing was twenty nine ninety nine full price, um, but I had a sixty percent off coupon, so I only spent twelve dollars and ninety cents, guys. Twelve dollars and ninety cents, thirteen dollars for this, okay? And it's worth it because this thing is like, it's heavy, and it's got quite a bit of resistance to it. So it's it's a it's a good tool. It's not just like a little chintzy, you know. Some of the stuff you find at Michaels is maybe a little bit whatever chintzy or not is nice but this is like a really this is like a, a legit tool like if you ever handled one of those single hole punches you can work this that's basically what it does is it's basically like the same thing as a single hole punch but this has quite a bit more resistance than a single hole punch so uh, I mean if you have weak hands or maybe uh, issues with your um, mobility in that way this may not be the best tool for you um but it does work um for me I don't have any hand issues but I guess if you had hand issues you would just want to maybe um I think this tool would help you but I I don't know if you'd be able to squeeze it the, the hardest that you need to squeeze it to get it to do what it does um I'm gonna show you what it does real quick because um, I don't want this video to get long. Um, so what it does is you take your fabric. And this is just a sample something I made um, as a fit pattern. So I don't really care if I mess it up. Um, and you find, figure out which hole you want. This is, this, there's one setting for 3 16th eyelets. And then there's one setting for 1 8th inch eyelets. I use 1 8th inch eyelets for BJD stuff because... I really don't own anything smaller than an MS, anything bigger than an MSD, and three sixteenth eyelets would be huge on something smaller than an MSD. So I just use the eighth inch. Now I guess maybe if you're using an SD, you could probably do the three sixteenth. But I don't even think with the NSD, I feel like I would still use the eighth inch eyelets. That's all I've ever used is eighth inch. So. I mean, I guess maybe if you're making human stuff, you would probably use the other setting, but I probably won't ever use it. But anyway, so basically what you do is you line it up in the, there's, this is the hole puncher. You line it up in your hole puncher, and then you just press it really hard to get your hole punched. Then you get a beautiful hole, and as you can see, it, it does leave <clears throat> some residue, some fabric residue, so you just kind of take some scissors, um, and you trim it, and it comes right off. See, it's, 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 it's a hole. You can see right through it. Um, now, I would recommend, and I'm not going to do this in this video, but just because I've noticed that it's something that happens, I would put a little bit of fray check, if you can, like just right on the area that you're getting ready to punch. Because I think that would get you a smoother haul. And I think it would keep your edges. Because see how these edges are like a little bit frayed. I don't know if you can see it. You can see that they're a little bit frayed. Um, so yeah, I would probably do, if if you had time, maybe do like just a little bit of fray check. Just right on the area that you're getting ready to punch. Um just to make sure that your project turns out nice and neat and um doesn't look um you know unprofessional or anything like that well you take your eyelets and i buy these um the one eight eyelets from um 
you can get them from uh, Hobby Lobby, Joanne, Michaels. I find my Michaels because my Michaels tends to have the biggest selection of them. So that's where I buy mine. But, I mean, I found them on Amazon before. I mean, you can get these in literally anywhere. Um, but they come in different colors and whatever, and they're really cute. Um, but I buy the plain one a lot because that's what I use. Um, but anyway, so you take your eyelet and you put it in a hole that you just made. And you have to make sure that the top part of the eyelet, oh, I just poked it through. Um, see how there's like the top part, sorry, there's the top part, and then there's like that skinny part. The skinny part is what you're going to mush with your setter. So this is not going to look as pretty when it's done as the top part. So you just want to make sure that your top part is on like the outside of your garment that you want people to see because otherwise you're going to be um it's not going to look as nice and so what you do is you take your I didn't even show you guys that I'm sorry um you take your tool see how I have my tool take your tool and you um You put the little thing that sticks down, like it goes inside of the eyelet to hold it in a place, and then you just kind of like squeeze it, just like a hole puncher. If you've worked a single hole puncher, you can work this. It's really easy. You just and you just squeeze. I like squeeze with all my might just to make sure my eyelet gets nice and uh, set. And that's what it looks like when it's done. See, it's beautiful and. It's set and it's good and you can put LASIK through it or whatever. Um, this was the one I did in the other video because I messed up the first video I did. So there's two of them now. But anyway, so that's what it does. Um, it works really good. I would definitely recommend this if you're making uh, corset, shoes, um, swim trunks. Anything that needs eyelets for real. This stuff is... Um, this thing is saving my life on a daily basis, and I will never let this thing out of my sight. This is my new baby. Um, and it was only $13, guys. $13. The best thing ever. Go buy it. Um, if you don't have a Michaels near you, um, get in contact with me. Comment on this video. Um, follow me on one of my social medias. Again, look in my description. All my social medias are there. Um, get in contact with me somehow. Instagram, Facebook, I really don't care. Find me somehow and, and let me know. I don't have Michaels in my area, but I really want one of those hole punches, um, eyelet setters, whatever you want to call it. It's a crocodile. It's what the name of it is, but that's what it does. And, um, and I'll get it for you. I mean, I can't pay for it. Obviously, you would have to, you know, send me some PayPal and, and we'd have to make that happen. But, yeah, I mean, I can wait till I have a 60% off coupon and I will go get you a crocodile so you can have one um, or I'll let you know when they put out a 60% off coupon and I'll go get it um, for you then because I would not pay it's the $29.99 full price I would not pay $29.99 for one of these I mean they're they're nice but $29.99 why spend $29.99 when you can spend $13 I spent $12.90 after tax um so definitely, definitely get it with the coupon. I would not spend full price on this. Um, but it is nice. It does work. It is efficient. Um, it's quick. It's easy to use. Um, it didn't take me very long to figure out how to use it. It wasn't really complicated. It came with some... Um, it came with some instructions um, in different languages. It comes... It looks like it has English, French... Uh, Spanish and uh, German is what it looks like the instructions come in. So if you speak one of those other languages, good news for you. You too can have one because it's they tell you how to use it in your own language. Um, and it works for 3 16th diameter eyelids, 1 8th inch diameter eyelids, eyelids with washers. Basically what that is, is instead of having one piece like these eyelids, it's got two pieces so that way both your um your top and your bottom will look like that instead of 
your bottom looking all uh mushed the way these come out. They they just don't look as nice on the underside. Um but the tops look nice, but if you get the eyelets with the washers, both sides look nice. So if you're doing a project like where you need both sides to look good, then like a jacket maybe or something, then you're gonna wanna get the eyelets with the washers. Um and then it also does flat embellishments, like I guess maybe for scrapbooking, where I guess if they look like eyelets, but they have, instead of having a hole through them, they're just flat on the top, you can set those too um, with this tool. Um, and it shows you all the different ways that these little, these little parts right here, you, you can, you can clip about in roll them around and that's how you get the different settings for the different types of eyelet and it tells you which one which setting for which type of eyelet so you're not going to be confused it's really easy and they're super easy yeah, like I, you saw when I did that I just pulled it up you twist it you flip it to whatever one you want and then you just push it back down and it goes right back into place and it's great and then this one this side um, this side you can mess with, I guess, if you have the fatter eyelet, you can switch it to the fatter one. Um, but like I said, I really don't use the fatter eyelets, but you saw how easy I just did that. It's just literally a pull and it goes right in place. Um, any questions, uh, leave me a comment or like I said, get in touch with me on social media. I can answer your questions. Um. But this thing is really easy to use. It's not too complicated. And it works great for what I need it for. Um, and I would recommend it definitely for sure. Um, like I said, if you want one and you don't have a Michaels near you, um, just contact me and I'll help you out um, as much as I can. Um, if I do end up getting one for you, just know that I will be you know, asking you to PayPal me the cost of the crop dial, um, plus the cost of shipping, um, it doesn't, it's not free for me to ship, so whatever it costs for me to ship it, and I'll get you a calculated quote, so it won't be, you know, just me making up a number off the top of my head, I'll tell you exactly what it would be, and you can send it to me, um, now, the only other thing I will tell you, because I just forgot and it just came to my mind right now, is you have to take a straight pin every now and again and, like, clean out the spot where the hole puncher is at because your, like, fabric is stuck in there, but you want it to be see-through all the time so that way you can get a good, a good nice, uh, uh, hole every time. Um, but it's really easy to do that, just take it like a set of straws. I just use a straight pin. I have a million of those. I just use a straight pin and just kind of like pull the little piece of fabric out or whatever. Um, but it's really easy to clean. And it's really easy to take care of. Um, it locks. You can lock it. See this little thing? You just push it and it locks it so that way like, you know, if you have kids or whatever, they can't uh, maybe like get their finger caught in there and hurt themselves or whatever. But I don't really have kids. I have cats, and they're not going to mess with this, so I don't really worry about that part. But, I mean, it does lock if that's something to train to or, you know, you just want to store it. Um, um, store it in a more confined uh, way. Oh, yeah, see, when you hit the lock, it makes the hole punchers come out so nothing can get stuck in there, basically, so you can't. Um, and then to just um, to lock or unlock it, you just um, hold it all the way tight and then you can unlock it back up again and it will, um, yeah, open back up. Okay, this video is really long again, so I'm going to um, sign off now. Like I said, my social media stuff's under the video. Um, comment, let me know if you liked this. Um, I really like this tool. You guys should get one. The Cropodile. Um, Go get one at your local Michaels. Thank you. Bye. Have a good day. Enjoy your projects.